Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist and today doing a Mechlord deck profile. So I'm really excited to do some for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun deck to play that I've actually found a super cool interaction between Armory Arm and Astro Dragon and a really awesome way to actually summon out your copy of Armory Arm to equip to Astro Dragon. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, your single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Astro Dragon. This card is our main boss monster. We want to summon out as quickly as possible to OTK your opponent. With the ability, it cannot be normal summon or set. It must be special summoned from your hand by banishing three mech lord monsters with different names from your graveyard in once per turn. When this card declares an attack, you can look at your opponent's extract and equip one monster from it to this card. And this card gains attack equal to the combined attack of those those equipped monsters. Also, while equipped with a synchro monster, this card can make up to three attacks on monsters during each battle phase, which is a really cool effect because in this build, it's super easy to actually equip Armory Arm to your copy of Astro Dragon. We then play three copies of Infinity Core. Infinity Core is really cool as a three of in the build because the first time this card would be destroyed by battle each turn, it is not destroyed, which is a really cool ability to be able to just protect this card. Also, if this card is normal or special summon, you can add a Mech Lord Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, which is an amazing ability to instantly get to our copy of Assembly, which is going to help us out a lot. This card is just a really good three of in the build. We then play three copies of Mechlord Army Deployer. Mechlord Army Deployer is definitely a three of the build because this card helps us get our Mechlord Army monsters out on our side of the field, which is extremely important to be able to do so we can get our Armory Arm out on the field. This card is the ability during your main phase, you can activate this effect to destroy this card, and if you do, special summon two Mechlord Army monsters from your deck in defense position, except another copy of this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except machine monsters which is totally fine this card is really good as a three of in the build we then play two copies of Mechler Army of Weissel. Weissel is the most important one to be able to get out on your side of the field, so we can summon out our copy of Army Arm, because this card helps us out a lot in the deck to be able to do that. This card is really good because it gains 100 attack for each Mechlord monster on the field, except this card, and once per turn, when another Mechlord monster you control declares an attack on a defense solution monster, you can activate this effect that during the, that battle, if the attack, if it attacks the defense solution monster, inflicts piercing damage which is really good to be able to do especially with your copy of astro dragon we can play a single copy of grinnell grinnell is just a really good one of them that i just give us another option and a single copy of skill skill is really good as well in the deck is just as a one of but the most important one is your copy of weissel to be able to get out on your side of the field because it's a dark monster we then play two copies of mech lord emperor grinnell grinnell is insane to be able to summon out to your side of the field because it usually comes out at four thousand attack points it's just so easy to summon. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by its own effect. And when a face up monster you control is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card in your hand. And this card gains attack and events equal to half of your life points, meaning usually this card comes out at 4,000 attack points, which is insane. We then play just a single copy of Weissel. I have bumped Weissel down to just one in this build. And it's just a really good one of in the deck to be able to summon out. And it's a good option. Plus, it's a nostalgic card. This was the first mech lore we actually saw in the anime, which is so cool. And this card is a really cool ability. It cannot be normal summoned or set. It must be special summoned by its own effect and cannot be special summoned by other ways. And when a face of monster control is destroyed by a card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand, which is a really cool ability just to get this card out on the field. We then play three copies of Gold Gadget. Gold Gadget's really good in the deck as a three of, because when this card is normal or special summon, you get to special summon a level four machine monster from your hand, which is an awesome effect. 
We then also play three copies of Silver Gadget, which does the exact same thing as your copy of Gold Gadget, which is just insane to be able to get your cards out on your side of the field. We then play two copies of Therion King Regulus. Regulus is really good because this card is a walking negate, and it's super easy to summon out to the field because it lets you target a Therion monster or machine monster in the grave, special summon this card from your hand if you do equip that monster in this card, which is a great effect. We can play a single copy of Machina Fortress because it's very easy to summon in the deck. You only have to discard this card and another card to be able to summon it out to your side of the field because it has the ability to discard machine type monsters whose total level equal eight or more and then special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, which usually you're just going to discard this card and any other machine because it can count for its own summon. We can play a single copy of Citadel. Citadel is really good as a one of in the deck because this card is the ability cannot be normal summon or set. It must be special summon by a card effect and quick effect. You can actually target a machine monster control and destroy that machine monster and all monsters your opponent control with attack less than or equal to it. And if a face up earth machine monster control except a copy of Citadel is destroyed by battle or by card effect while this card's in the graveyard, you can special summon this card, which is a great effect to be able to use with a bunch of earth machines in this deck. We then finally play two copies of Gamma Seal. Gamma Seal is just really good to give us a safe target to attack into because this is an OTK deck that we're trying to summon out our copy of Astro Dragon to just go in for game. So this card helps us just out our opponent's cards. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get in to the spells. So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. Harpy's Feather Duster is really good as a one of in the deck to basically just use this card to out your opponent's back row. We then play two copies of Limiter Removal. Limiter Removal is really good as a two of in the build just to help us double the attack points of our machine monsters. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is definitely a three of in the build just to basically use this card to dig into the deck. Now I did debate playing Pot of Desires over this card, but I ended up with Pot of Prosperity because it helps us dig six deep into the deck to be able to get to the exact cards that we need. We're then playing three copies of an extremely spicy tech card that we're going to play face down and play guess that card. Comment down below what you think this really spicy tech card is. It's amazing in the deck and actually helps us summon out our copy of Armory Arm. And we're going to reveal this card in three, two, one one and don't forget to like comment subscribe guys definitely hit that bell there so you can come part of notification squad and subscribe because we're actually almost at a hundred k subscribers so every subscriber counts so let's go ahead and get into it and see what this card is and see if you guys got it right and this is actually going to be three copies of duality i know you guys were looking at this deck and going where's the tuner to summon out your copy of armory arm but you actually don't need a tuner because what you do with this card is you actually use your copy of army of weissel to be able to summon out your copy of armory arm because this card is a dark machine monster and your copy of armory arm is a light machine monster meaning you can use duality to go from your weissel to be able to go into a copy of armory arm and then equip this card to your copy of your astro dragon and since it's equipped to the monster and it's a synchro monster you get to attack those three times which is super cool about armory armor in this deck and i love that about this card and how easy it is to be able to go into it in this build with your copy of duality and why i chose to play the copies of pot of prosperity even though we do uh, half damage with our copy of prosperity we then play three copies of Assembly. Assembly is definitely a three of them to build, and it's extremely important for the deck because this card has the ability that you can discard a card, target a monster you control, and destroy it. And if a face-up Mechlore monster you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can target one other face of spell, trap on the field, and destroy it. And this card also is a rota for the deck that when this card is activated, you can add a Mechlord monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great ability to be able to use with this card. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with a single copy 
of Armory Arm. Armory Arm is definitely a one of the deck, so we can equip it to our copy of Astro Dragon, so it is equipped with a Synchro Monster, because this card has the ability once per turn, you can either target a monster on the field and equip this card to the target, or unequip this monster and special summon it in attack position. And while equipped by this effect, that target monster gains a thousand attack points, and if that target destroys an advanced monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack point, which is going to help us OTK our opponent even faster with our copy of Astro Dragon. This card is really good as a one of the deck, and it's just absolutely crazy how easy it is to step into this card with duality and just make this card crazy in this deck. We can play a single copy of Juggernaut Lee because it's very easy to summon this card in the build with your copy of your Gustav Max, which is just a really cool card to be able to summon out off your copy of your Dreadnought Dreadnor to be able to just summon these cards out to your side of the field, do 2,000 burn damage, and then OTK your opponent with your copy of Juggernaut Lee. Play a single copy of Giganta X. Giganta X is really good in the deck as a one of just to search out the exact level four machine monster we need. You play a single copy of Dreadnought. Dreadnord. This card is what we use to summon out our copy of our Gustav Max and then summon out a copy of our Juggernaut Lieb, which is just really cool because this card has the ability, the end of the battle phase, if this card destroyed an opponent's monster or by battle, you can special summon from your X check one rank 10 or higher machine egg Z monster by using this face of card as material, which is a really cool effect to be able to make your copy of Juggernaut Lieb with this card, stepping from this card into Gustav Max and then from Gustav Max into your copy of your Juggernaut Lieb. We then play a single copy of Baguska. Baguska's in the deck as a one of, just in case we need to slow the game down, especially if we go first. One copy of Zeus. Zeus is also really good as a one of in the build, just to basically use this card as a board wipe. One copy of Access Code. Access Code's really good, just in case we need to make this card to pop multiple cards on the field. It's just a really good option in the deck. We play a single copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. One copy of Nightmare Phoenix to pop spells and traps. One copy of the Dark Charmer, since we play a lot of dark monsters in the deck, so we can Link Climb just in case we need to. You don't summon out the Link monsters all that often, but they are good options. We can play a single copy of SP Little Knight. SP Little Knight is a good double interruption against the opponent. You could play Nightmare Cerberus if you want to instead of this card, or Typhon, anything else that you want to for a budget option. You summon it every so often in the deck, so you don't have to play this card, but it's still a really good option if you have one. Again, if you don't have one, play a copy of Typhon, or play a copy of Nightmare Cerberus. We then play a single copy of Cleefort Genius. Cleefort Genius is really good in the deck to be able to use because this card is an insane ability that basically when two monsters are special summoned at the same time to zones this card points to, you can add a level five or higher machine monster from your deck to your hand and with your copy of your armory, armor redeployer, which is really cool to be able to just instantly summon out two monsters to your side of the field with your copy of your army deployer because this card will actually destroy itself. Special summon out two of your army monsters from the deck to zones this card points to, then search out your copy of Astro Dragon because it is a level five or higher machine monster, meaning you can instantly get to that card, which is really, really nice. We then play a single copy of Platinum Gadget. Platinum Gadget is just a really good option since we are playing the gadget monsters on deck and it helps you get an additional monster out on your side of the field. And then finally, play a single copy of IP Mascarena to make our copy of SP Little Knight or Nightmare Unicorn during the opponent's turn. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This deck is super cool. I really like playing with Mech Lord because it's a really cool deck from the 5Ds era. And it's basically the anti-synchro deck, which is really funny that we found a way to make a synchro monster work for us in this deck, which is really cool because it's Armory Arm, which is such a really cool card. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.